Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Devyani and today's video is going to be very controversial. There are going to be some people who are very thankful and grateful that I'm giving out this information. But on the other hand, there are going to be some people who are going to be real pissed and who do not agree with what I'm saying. But I'm giving out information from what I am aware of, what I have discussed with my friends, my peers and I'm making this video. So, according to me, you should not study management in the UK. Be it MBA, MA management, MSc management, international management, whatever it's called, management, do not study it. But I'm going to explain some reasons why. So in this video, I'm going to cover why you should not study management, what my friends who have studied management have gone through, how is the current job market like. But if you want to study management, what is the right scenario, which universities you should go to. And another thing I'm going to cover at the end of the video is if you're studying like a placement year, like for example, MBA year with a placement. So that is also a huge scam which international students are not aware of. So make sure you watch this video until the end. So just to give you some background and perspective, I did my master's in international marketing from King's College London and I started in September 2021 and graduated in 2022. So I have been in the UK for almost like one and a half, two years now. I have been working in this job market. I have so many friends from my batch as well as dispatch who have studied management. So I have a very good scenario of how many are placed, what is the scenario, how many are working exactly in managerial fields or how many people are doing something different. So I'm going to cover everything. So I have some notes right here on my iPad and I'm going to cover one topic after the other. The first reason why you should not study management in the UK is because of market saturation. So every university in the UK provides some sort of management degree. Like for example, King's College London has international management. There are some universities who provide MBA with a placement year. There is MA management. UCL has management. Like so many universities have management. But the number of jobs are very limited. So the amount of students who are studying management in the UK is far more than the actual jobs available. The second reason you should not study management is no specialization. So if you're aware, UK is a very skill based market. So if you have skills, for example, you can run advertisements, you can run digital ads, you can uh, do branding, if you can design logos, graphics, yes, you will get jobs because it's a skill based industry. But something like management, it gives you like an overview of a lot of industries. So you cannot really break into one. On what basis will you get a job? Like just to manage everyone. So yeah, because there is no specialization, uh, getting a job in this field is very hard. So I'm going to give you guys a scenario. So if you think about it, imagine yourself as a CEO of a company based in the UK. You have 10 employees working under you. One is working with you for two years, one is for four years, five years, 10 years. Maybe one is working for you for one year, three years, and like a good balance of that. So today you want to hire a manager to manage all your employees. So whom will you hire out of this? If you think logically, obviously the person who has the most experience, so somebody who has been working with you for 10 years, knows your brand really well, knows the industry really well. So they will promote them to a manager. But imagine your own company and somebody from India comes with a bachelor degree with no experience, maybe one to internships here and there. Why would you hire them to manage your own team? when they do not know this industry very well, they do not have any skills of their own. They just know how to manage. So management is kind of like a generic thing which most people learn when they work in some industry. So for example, I'm working in an advertising agency for five years, 10 years. After 10 years or maybe after, even after five years, I will understand the industry very well. I know what responsibilities people have. And when I'm promoted as a manager, I can easily delegate, I can easily understand the industry, what are the, you know, what are the requirements, what are the issues which people face, and I can come up with better solutions. So today, after studying marketing, after working in marketing, if I decide to go to a bank and manage them, I don't know how the bank works, I don't know how the finance part works, I don't know anything about it. So on what basis would they hire me? That is the issue which most management students face. That they come from India, they come from Pakistan to UK with no experience whatsoever. Like maybe one to internships with a bachelor's in commerce or business management or something like that. But they don't have real industry experience. So the recruiters don't even go through their CVs because it's a no-go. So my friends who have studied management, 
very few are working as a manager mostly people have got into finance as audit some people are working in marketing some people are working in hr but nobody's working as a manager level everybody has started as an entry level position and it's even harder for them because you're competing with students who have actually specialized in that degree for example if you're a management student and if you want to get into finance as a data analyst or whatever it is there are so many students who have studied data analysis they have studied finance and they are more likely to get that job so you have a, like a generic overview of everything it's called like jack of all trades but the master of none that is the issue which management students are facing today so if you talk about top mba universities like london business school or imperial college oxford they require minimum of 3 to 6 years of work experience in your own country so without that experience you don't even get admission so yes if you have like 5 6 years of experience in some field back in india back home then definitely you can come to the uk get an mba and get a very good job so like if you've studied finance like if you're working as a financial analyst or whatever it is and then after 5 6 years okay you decide you want to do an mba come to the uk do your mba and bingo you're going to get a lot of money lot of success but as a fresher no that's not the case so the fourth reason is most companies prefer stem students if that makes sense so if you think about a bank who wants to hire a manager they would rather go for somebody who is a stem student stem is who has studied science technology math st engineering and math so a stem student so for somebody who studied engineering in their undergraduate maybe they have more analytical skills and everything like the basics are already in place and they have to learn management which is much easier than somebody who is a manager and then they have to learn analytical skills so if you study in engineering and if you do a masters in management okay kind of your chances slightly increase but for example if you have done arts or commerce and then you want to switch to management unfortunately it's going to be very hard for you the reason you should not study management is lack of diversity so i don't know like just talk to people who are studying management in the uk so these universities i'm talking about the majority of universities so i'm not mentioning the top universities which need 3 to 6 years of experience so i'm talking about universities who accept freshers majority are indians or south asians or like the chinese population so basically asians and south asians so indians studying management are everywhere literally everywhere you can consider like maybe 70% of your class would be indians i really apologize for being so negative about this degree but i do not want to encourage students who are coming to the uk and give them like a false scenario like study anything else do a specialization in something study marketing study hr study finance study analytics study anything else even something like graphic designing because it is a skill based thing and you will definitely find some kind of job after but management is a very generic degree and if you're taking big loans just think like step back think again if this is the thing you really want to do um for me it's a no go but again at the end of the day it is your choice but if you really want to study management the best advice i can give you is work in india for at least 3 to 5 years and then apply for a mba or a management degree um having some kind of work experience in the past will help you understand one industry better and make you more eligible to work as a manager the second thing is if you are applying as a fresh learner is only get into the top top management schools so like for example london business school oxford cambridge do need some kind of work experience for something like ucl do accept freshers but ucl is so highly ranked and it's so difficult to get in ucl so definitely because of the brand name you're going to get jobs because of king's college london maybe you might get jobs but if you're studying at a tier 2 tier 3 university and studying management i'm really sorry it's going to be a very tough journey for you ahead so now i'm going to talk about the mba placement your scam so scam is a big word but this is something which most international students are not aware of so as you know like this degree with the placement year is usually for 2 years so first year you study and second year you have to find a job and after you like you have to work there for 9 months and provide like pay slips for 3 3 3 months and after that you are you get an mba so that is a part of your curriculum the things which students do not know is the university is not going to help you find a job it's on you to go and find it so you have to find an employer who's ready to hire you pay you full time for whatever this amount of time and only then you will get an mba and you have a very small amount of time to find this job 
So the people who have taken this placement here, the majority of people have not found this and they had to opt out of this option. The current students right now, I know some people who are studying, um, you know, management MBA with a placement here. The majority haven't found jobs because firstly, you haven't even graduated with a full degree. On what basis would company hire you? Again, with the you know the points which I mean with the points which I mentioned before, as a fresher, somebody does not know the industry. On what basis would they hire you? So if you do not complete this placement year, if you do not have this, you know, have some company hire you full time, then you do not get an MBA. You get an MA marketing degree that is of one year. So if you think about MBA, okay, MBA is like the best degree you can get. Then maybe an MSc because it is like Masters of Science, uh, which might not be very practical for a management degree because it's more theoretical. Then maybe. The third option is like an MA, like Master of Arts in Management. So that is what you're left with. So don't go for a placement here unless you have some contact here who's like you're 100% sure that somebody is going to hire you and give you a full time job without even having a degree in your hand. And like it's just so sad, but understanding the job market right now, what is happening, most people are really unemployed, working for salaries which are very below what they should get. A um, lot of people I know have moved back home, are planning to move back home soon. So it's like kind of sad, but I think as a person who is, you know, giving out this information to everybody, I think it is my responsibility to let you know what is the reality of the UK market about management degrees and things like that. So when somebody messages me on Instagram, like, oh, should I study management? I don't know what to say because no, you should not, but it's pretty rude to just you know just give out this information without having you know understanding everything so i thought it was very important for me to make this video but if you're somebody who has a business back in india if you want to study management and go back to india definitely go ahead with it like if you don't want to work in the uk market for example then definitely study management you can go back manage your own business or something like that but yeah like if you plan to pay back your loan or if you want to work in the uk market in management, like not like switch fields and work in finance, like for management, which is going to be a harder transition, which is not impossible, but a harder transition, then definitely you can go ahead with it. So let me know what you guys think. If you think my perspective is different than yours, do comment down below. And please do subscribe to my YouTube channel and help me reach 10,000 subscribers. I'm very excited to get there. But yes, this is an important video from my end. And see you next video. Bye.